Hello everyone, I'm Xavi, CEO of VCN3D. Today, we have prepared a very special event where we will update you about the future of Viscose lithography manufacturing. You might recall that in March 2022, we introduced VLM in a release that aimed to present to the world this new technology capable of processing high viscosity resins. Since then, the VLM team has kept quite busy. Shortly after the release, we had registered more than 500 companies in the technology adoption program. Companies from the United States, Germany, UK and France and many other countries, and from a very wide range of industries, like automotive, aerospace and railway, but also defense, footwear, healthcare and many others. By working with such great companies, we identified and developed key applications to drive commercial influence both on the materials and technology development. Today, both the technology and the materials are much more mature, and we're printing 24-7 for the technology adoption program customers. But there is still a long path ahead of us for VLM to reach the market. It's a completely new technology with new materials to unlock new applications. The opportunity is enormous, but the technical challenge is also significant. At VCN3D, we introduced the IDEX in 2016, and our core business has always been FDM, where we keep innovating with new introductions like our latest industrial 3D printer, the Omega i60, which we started shipping last September. We have understood that the nature of the VLM business unit is very different from the FDM one, both from a technical and commercial perspective. And consequently, the best way to bring VLM to the market is within an independent environment. Today, we are announcing that during Q4 2023, we perform a carve out of our VLM business unit into a separate company called Supernova, which is already totally independent from VCN3D. You might be thinking, what does the future hold for VCN3D? You will be happy to hear that all the VCN3D team and myself will remain focused on the sustainable growth of our FDM business and continue to innovate and push forward the boundaries of extrusion-based technologies. On the other hand, an innovative company like Supernova requires a strong leader with a proven background of success in additive manufacturing. For this reason, I'm happy to announce that Roger Antunes, who has spent the last five years as general manager of VCN3D, will become the CEO of Supernova. From the whole VCN3D team, we wish Supernova all the best and look forward to seeing them become a leading company in the industry. I will now hand over to Roger. Hello, I'm Roger, and it's a pleasure to host you here today to introduce you for the first time with Supernova, a new company that we have created in the US with the vision of elevating products through advanced technologies. During the past years, 3D printing has demonstrated its value in the field of product design and development, empowering engineers to create better products. Unfortunately, technology limitations have prevented additive manufacturing from achieving a wide adoption in real production applications. Lack of material properties, productivity, repeatability, or cost efficiency are still major challenges that need to be figured out for additive manufacturing to have a clear competitive advantage against traditional manufacturing processes. At Supernova, we are prepared for beating those limitations thanks to our unique approach to high viscosity materials that we process with VLM, unlocking the production of end-use parts at scale and cost. Our goal is to serve factories with a solution that matches the quality standard of processes such as injection molding, offering a real alternative, parts of better quality and geometric freedom, produced through a scalable production platform that is cost efficient. We guarantee 
that customers can increase their margins and reduce their investments while onshoring production back to the Western countries to gain control on critical supply chains and reduce carbon footprint. Let me introduce you with my co-founder, Marta Miko, to tell you more about the benefits of our solution. Hello, I'm Marta and I'll talk to you about Supernova Solution. Our customers are seeking for real production solutions in additive manufacturing. Based on our patent technology VLM, at Supernova we offer a solution for producing parts at scale and cost, reaching the three key pillars of manufacturing – quality, productivity and cost per part. VLM is capable of working with resins 100 times more viscous than standard ones. High viscosity resins allows us to formulate materials with superior properties, closer to thermoplastics rather than traditional thermosets. While VLM systems work with room temperature resins, some additive manufacturing methods adjust the printing temperature to manage high viscosity resins. While this can enhance material properties, it can cause critical issues when trying to reach the repeatability and long-term performance expected of an industrial process. As a result, our customers obtain long batches of parts with perfect surface finishing and repeatable and isotropic properties that reach industry standards and homologations. Our solution is designed for efficiently processing materials in tones. We offer an entire product ecosystem which operates under a complete and automated production workflow. All the steps of the manufacturing process, from the design until the obtention of the final part, are controlled and require the minimum interaction of the operator. The scalability of our solution allows customers to start by manufacturing short batches of parts and progressively upgrade to a serialized factory, processing hundreds of tons of material per year. In addition, VLM technology is capable of producing dual material parts, which apart from improving the freedom while designing part geometries, it also improves the productivity and efficiency of certain manufacturing processes by reducing assembling steps and total production time. Until now, we have seen very interesting additive manufacturing cases of mass customization where customers were not only improving their production processes, but also they were obtaining important cost savings. Those additive manufacturing technologies have a common element with traditional manufacturing methods. And this is not only productivity or part quality, it's also the high pressure of the capex, blocking the adoption of additive manufacturing for mass production. Supernova solution guarantees a reduction of the cost per part pressure of the capex and the labor cost, beating injection molding in short and mid runs for a large number of applications. Now, let me introduce you to Eric Pallares, our distinguished technologist at Supernova. First of all, let's briefly discuss why high viscosity matters in a resin-based aging process. Current resin-based technologies have a very narrow range of viscosities that can be reliably processed. For this reason, the ingredient set available to formulate materials is very limited. As a consequence, low viscosity resins struggle to meet industrial standards. These low viscosity formulations result in an overcross link matrix due to the high fraction of low molecular weight monomers. As a result, the photopolymerized material is brittle or has inferior elastomeric properties. Our technology, VLM, breaks with the viscosity limitations, so it's possible to formulate materials composed by long oligomer chains and all types of additives, fillers or modifiers. This results in resins that achieve superior thermal, chemical and mechanical performance for both rigid and elastomer materials. High viscosity resins can be managed using a lamination process, on which VLM is based, avoiding the drawbacks associated with conventional resin 3D printers that use tanks or vats. To do so, the resin is first picked up by a roller from the material bucket and accurately laminated to the underside of a transparent film, which is then transferred to the curing area. The build plate rises to come into contact with the recently laminated resin at the desired layer thickness. The UV light engine cures the resin solely in the specified area, creating a new layer of the object to be printed. The build plate then retreats, causing the recently cured layer to peel away from the film, while the uncured resin is recovered and recirculated up to the material bucket. This process is then repeated until the print job is complete. 
VLM's architecture allows the resin to be laminated from both sides of the film, making it possible to implement strategies to speed up printing times or to combine different resins to get multi-material parts and easy-to-remove support structures. Multi-material parts can be produced even if the part has two different materials into the same layer. In that case, there is an automated subsystem that cleans the uncured resin from the part after every multi-material layer, ensuring the parts are not affected by cross-contamination. After covering the benefits of high viscosity and how the VLM process works, let's review the VLM ecosystem that we are developing at Supernova. Our main goal is to offer a complete and close solution designed to be integrated at the factory floor, guaranteeing customers to manufacture through a reliable and standardized workflow. It's an automated and interlinked production workflow where all the steps of the manufacturing process from the design until the obtention of the final part are controlled and require the minimum interaction of the operator. Let's start from the materials, which is one of the keys of our technology. We are working on a proprietary material portfolio designed to accomplish industry requirements and homologations. Our materials portfolio include, but are not limited to high performance acrylates, silicones, epoxies, or inorganically loaded materials. Our software is prepared for scalable manufacturing applications so that customers can plan the production batches across all the needed hardware systems to ensure meeting the targets. It offers design optimization features such as lattice structures, surface texturing, or optimized support generation and smart curing strategies for specific materials and complex geometries. The heart of our process lies in the VLM system designed for real production environments. It can process 2.5 kilos of material per hour with no pod limitations and with an efficient recirculation system, ensuring that all the material is used and the waste is minimum. The VLM system has an XY resolution of 23 microns and it's also capable of printing with two different materials in a single layer. Once the part is produced, there is a post-process needed. First, there is an automated washing solution which removes the uncured resin from the walls of the part, smartly adapting to the materials and typology of the parts. It uses optimized cleaning agents and has functionalities such as agitation, ultrasonic and heating. The final touch involves a post-cure process, utilizing UV curing and thermal annealing to ensure the material's peak performance and long-term stability. The complete solution, designed for producing large batches of parts, accomplishing the properties and homologations required at the industry, and improving cost efficiency, will have a cost below the $100,000. One of our main values at Supernova is being fully customer-oriented. For that reason, one year ago, when the technology was in a less mature stage, we decided to open a technology adoption program in order to continue our internal development guided by the needs and expectations of our potential customers. We selected 10 from more than 500 customers that were registered to the program. And during that period, we have been working together with them, unlocking new applications that were not possible before with any other additive manufacturing technologies. We are developing applications in a wide range of vertical markets. For example, Using materials that combine thermal and mechanical properties and which can accomplish automotive, aerospace and railway homologations, we are developing applications such as cockpit parts, under the hood components, electrical connectors or ceilings and gaskets. With our superior portfolio of elastomers, we are developing applications also in the footwear industry as well as other consumer goods. Defense is also a strategic industry for us, in which many of the previous mentioned materials can be applied, along with the defense-focused materials that can't be processed with any other additive manufacturing platforms. In addition, in the space of biocompatible materials, thanks to high viscosity, we can obtain safer and more stable materials, with superior mechanical properties perfect for healthcare applications, those are only a few examples of the very wide range of applications that we can develop at Supernova. The possibilities are unlimited and our plan is to continue evolving the solution to help more customers to improve their manufacturing process. So, starting from today, we are expanding our technology adoption program for new customers. We are looking for companies that want to be pioneers in their sectors. 
using additive manufacturing in a way that they can create better products and improve their production process. We bring you the opportunity to be an early adopter of our technology and unlock applications that you have not been able to develop with any other additive manufacturing technologies of the market. It has been a pleasure to host you in this event today. This has just been an introduction. You can know more about the company at www.supernova3d.com and if you want to keep updated about the solution and our product roadmap, you can register to our newsletter and follow us on LinkedIn or Instagram. Thanks and welcome again to Supernova.